water resources and okay student this is lesson from the standard 10 geography textbook so water resources water scarcity and water conservation and management so today we are learning this so you know all what are resources things which we are using which we need they fulfill our needs those all things physical matters we call them materials we call them as resources so water is a natural resource which is naturally occurring substance and which is much needed for human activities isn't it and as all you know the fresh water which is used by humans or animals also is very less in percentage if you compare the total percentage of water available on the earth and the percentage of fresh water which can be used by human is very less and now you are experiencing the global warming you are experiencing water scarcity so this is the impact of all that globalization global warming everything where we have to preserve this water resource because scarcity means a acute shortage in future we may not have this fresh water to drink huh? so that is the fear then to overcome that fear or to manage that in a good way or a proper way there are methods of water conservation and water management so we have to read about yes it is around 2.97% which is available as a fresh water huh? for such a huge population okay now water is a resource the water or hydrological cycle is something we all are familiar with so water cycle what are the process involved in water cycle evaporation condensation and precipitation these are the processes that are part of water cycle okay next point i am moving on now it is a natural process in which ground water gets constantly renewed and refilled thus water is a renewable resource with it occupying almost 3/4 of the earth surface why then we do we hear about water scarcity water scarcity what is it exactly now understand the scarcity meaning uh, here usually we associate this phrase to low rainfall or drought prone areas which state did you think when you read this phrase drought prone or low rainfall areas rajasthan correct while it is true that water resources differ as per region and season in their distribution that is uh, that is not the only reason for water scarcity can you think of other reasons that cause it what are the other reasons that causes water scarcity other than low rainfall or drought prone areas what are the other reasons cutting of trees global warming okay increase in population so these are the reasons in most cases water resources are available in sufficient quantity but the listed reasons lead to water scarcity so now pay attention what are the reasons indiscriminate usage means inequal or uh, means exploiting the availability of water huh? so excess use of that over exploitation of depleting resources rising demand for the resource unequal distribution as per different socio economic groups and pollution of the resources so these are the reasons for water scarcity now if i want to uh, explain the first one it indiscriminate use means we are not use uh, using it equally huh? then over exploitation of a depleting resource means it is already a depleting resource which day by day the water reserves are depleting and those re that resource we are over exploiting means we are over using it then rising demand for the resource because the population is growing water we need for that large population so that is what rising demand for the resource unequal distribution as per the socio economic groups means in rural areas or in urban areas if we compare there is a unequal distribution of water in urban areas 
uh, we have a continuous and regular uh, supply of water but if you go to villages and all and rural places or small towns they have to travel a lot for fetching water from water reservoirs and all and pollution of the resource we are polluting the resource by uh, dumping the wastage trash into it so that way we are making it pollution means we are polluting that resource okay these are the reasons we discussed one by one now move on so the other than our daily needs we use it on large scale for agricultural activities then for generation of hydroelectric power can you think of some other uses other than this other than this three in daily needs we need for agriculture we need for generating hydroelectric power we need what are the other things or other uh, uh, where water is used other than these three areas where it is used in industries isn't it hmm yeah now water scarcity dealing with it so what happens when we don't get enough water to meet our daily needs how do we get the water that we need now today only yesterday and today in power, in uh, pune there is a water cut correct there is no water supply yesterday and today are you aware of it so why this is happening though we have a lot of rainfall there might be some technical issues we can understand but during the summer days in lot of villages lot of small towns there is a irregular supply of water hmm? we dig bore wells in our houses society and campus then it helps us to meet our demands for water think about how it affects ground water reserves now next if the ground water reserves are not refilled regularly what do you think will happen think about all the areas it would affect daily needs agriculture and industries now you might have heard about uh, means you know very well about the wells you know very well about the bore wells uh, where we dig and uh, that is the underground water reservoirs all it is stored underground so if there is a irregular rainfall or there is a mismanagement of that water which is from because rainfall and all if we could not harvest it then that would lead into the depletion of water level underground okay and then we have to face of the problems which affect our daily needs agriculture and industries so what we are actually doing is exploiting an already fragile resource means it is already a very uh, fragile resource means we have to be very cautious about when there is a uh, less quantity of that is available to us to use so we should not ex exploit its uses we should not waste it we should manage the supply all these things in grade 7 you have learned na ground water table underground water in soil so this is all related to that how the underground water resource will get depleted hmm? now qualitative loss this we have thought about now here we talked about the uh, water scarcity only that is this is related to the stock which is available to us which is a uh, stock which can be used by us now only we are talking about stock now here when we talk about qualitative loss now as the word suggest you will come to know how it affects the quality because we are dumping all the trash all the industrial waste into the water resource water sources so that is damaging the purity of that water so we will learn about qualitative loss now consider a scenario where water is available in ample quantities meeting the requirements would water scarcity exist in this situation too unfortunately yes means what they want to say now water is available in ample quantity means a good enough quantity and meeting the requirements means uh, what is needed for daily activities then for agriculture industries it is meeting the requirement 
would water scarcity exist in situation yes unfortunately and the reason behind this is again human activities hmm? the quality of water also needs to be considered along with the quantity available india has developed as an it hub in recent time industries have also risen in number next is both these sectors need huge amounts of water basis not just for drinking and sanitary purposes industries often run on hydroelectric power so water is also used to generate electricity imagine the scale at which it may be required we are again talking about the quantity of water being used how does it related to relate to quality now water sources are unfortunately treated as dumping grounds for industrial wastage pesticides fertilizers and waste are all let into water sources like rivers and seas ponds lakes streams everywhere this turns perfectly good water into a something that is potable that is not fit for drinking okay the meaning of potable is thus water becomes a harmful resource for all those who depend on it not only us but aquatic animals fish turtle small species or small water plants which are dependent on these water bodies they will also get affected now uh, recently there is a, a big news related to the plastic which is dumped in ocean and all and how it is causing the deaths of fish in the seas and ocean we all are aware about it so there is now a large uh, means action is going on or large uh, a program they are running to collect all dumped plastics from the ocean correct floral waste also yes then conservation and management of water now we are dealing with two problems first is quantity that is leading to the scarcity of water one fine day on the earth there will be no fresh water to drink so do we want to see that day no then next we have learn about quality how the quality is getting depleted or deteriorated because of all human activities to avoid this what are the measures huh to control all this that we are going to learn under conservation and management of water okay you wouldn't want to live in a world where you are constantly fighting for water would you think of how many tasks we require what for right from the moment we wake up hmm? it is thus extremely important to conserve and manage the water resources we have with us if we don't it would lead to hazardous consequences to our own lives so it is already happening last year south africa was the first country which faced a acute water scarcity ha huh? and uh, for many days they were not having the water supply so this will increase day by day so we have to be very cautious and we have to be very aware about the situation and we should start conserving it managing it hmm? okay now the percentage of water which is available it is 96.5% water is available on the earth out of which only 2.5% as a fresh water huh and out of that 70% of water is in glaciers in antarctica greenland and in the mountainous regions of the world where a little less than 30% is stored in ground water in the world's aquifers now you have learned the aquifers in science huh the level above that uh, ground table na no? or between the rock and the ground table the gap see what we are doing and what others water water everywhere not a drop to drink so this boy look at he how is surrounded by the flood water now presently we faced all these situations in mumbai bihar assam orissa throughout india there was a lot of rain flood but that water can we drink 
no huh on the contrary see there is a queue for this water in villages so they do not have the regular supply of water now a kashmiri earthquake survivor carries water in the snow in a devastated village which was uh, devastated because of earthquake and she is carrying a uh, just a one pot of water and she is traveling through this snow so look at the situations in india how difficult for the people to get water which is our daily need so why the resource is so much precious to us you will come to know from these pictures you will easily understand from these three different pictures how water is important and how we should conserve it manage it hmm yeah what is scarcity the reasons behind it they are talking about where it is used water is used in how many uh, different sectors other than the use of livelihoods now this we will start multi purpose river projects and integrated water resources management we will start in the next lecture okay if you like our videos do share them and subscribe to our channel If you want awesome quizzes write to us keep watching and keep learning with walnut